Let's bring in Andrea Mitchell, our chief foreign affairs correspondent. Andrea, there are always tensions in this region, but why did Hamas launch this attack now? Well, that's such a good question, Jose. U.S. officials have been asked if Iran, which funds Hamas, may have had a hand in this. The reason? To derail recent momentum toward what would be an historic diplomatic agreement between Israel and Saudi Arabia, a deal that would have huge impacts in the region. And President Biden has told Prime Minister Netanyahu he could support it if it protects Palestinian land rights. Iran, however, very much opposes the deal. Iran's President Raisi made that clear to NBC's Lester Holt in an exclusive interview last month, telling him that Saudi diplomatic recognition of Israel will not create security for Iran. A war in the region, of course, will likely slow that down or t totally derail that deal. Jose. And staying, Andrea, on Iran, Republicans are suggesting that the billions of dollars now being returned to Iran as part of that prisoner swap may have led to this. Well, U.S. officials tonight are telling reporters that is completely false, that in fact Iran has not yet drawn a penny, uh, any kind of money out of that deposited uh, $6 billion in Qatar's central bank, where it is being held and will be available once the U.S. Treasury assures it is being spent only for humanitarian purposes. None of it has been spent so far. Jose? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.